Anton Sokolov made this lock. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Dishonored 2 Zero to Hero. We're about to start playthrough 1, mission 3, The Good Doctor, and we are going to collect all collectibles. And actually, in this mission, I'm going to go out of my way to get some of the raw whalebone pieces because they're useful for bone chunk crafting later on. So, skip the cutscenes. The first thing we're going to do is go to a powers menu because we collected quite a few runes in our last mission. So we're going to get Blink 2, which gives us a better range. And we're also going to get Agility 2, which lets us sprint faster. And there we go. Now the first thing we're going to collect is a Bone Charm down here. So you're going to drop down here quite carefully. And the Bone Charm is in this boat. There it is. Now using our new Blink, upgrade a Blink, you can Blink directly back up here. And with your rapid sprint, you can slide into this corner, wait for that guy to pass, and then slide knock him out. And now we're going to get some raw whalebone pieces. The first one is over here. The second one, you're going to go out here, blink there, climb into this room, Corvo's going to say something. This part of the facility has been abandoned for a while. Yep, and the second piece is hidden behind this plant. And now we're going to go back the way we came and deal with those two guards chatting in that room. They quickly blink away before the other guy gets you. Too little bit of damage, that's fine because there is a potion right here. And with some money as well. There's a, another burn charm over there, so we're gonna blink over there. You've been working here for months. You know Dr. Hypatia's office is off limits to you. Now we're gonna blink up. And there's a painting that we wanna get over there. So we're gonna cause a distraction by turning off the world light. Now sometimes they don't notice. In which case, you'll have to cause an explosion and make sure to throw it in this direction so it doesn't kill anyone. There we go. We're gonna run to the explosion, hopefully. Yep, now we can collect this painting. The Duke of Serenos. Now we're gonna get back up here to get a blueprint in the save, which code is 949. There we go. Combat sleep dot. And we're going to do this for plot reasons. A victim of the crown killer, no doubt. Now we can deal with the guards however you want. Usually I keep a height advantage and drop knock them. Because that singles them out pretty well. All right, jumper. Let's go. Did you? Here? Where did he go? Wait, this isn't. Ow! What the? Oh. There we go. That should be all of them. I think the red guard has some money. Yes, he does. Now we're gonna go into the dining hall. What should we do with leftovers? I used to feed them with dog, but I'm not allowed to go to the kennels anymore. There is a rune over there, and a raw whalebone in the kitchen. So we're gonna get that first by sneaking past the civilians. There it is. I can't right here. do anything for you. You'd better run. And now there are four guards next to the room, so we're gonna deal with them using a stud line. You've been warned. I'm going to call for help. There we go. 
and hopefully they don't die because if they run into these screens they do die so do be careful but there is some room and we're gonna get this flammable bottle that will help us later on I'll put it here for now And there might be someone trying to use the elevator. Seems like he's already gone. But now we're gonna place another stun mine on these stairs. And then we'll try attention. There we go. There's two other guards down. There's another guard sleeping over here. So let's help her sleep a bit longer. There we go. Steal their money. And now we'll take these thermal bottles because we need to use them. Because we don't have incendiary bolts. Because we don't have the crossbow in this playthrough. And if you want to know how, and you don't know yet, you might want to check back to a previous episode. But what we do is we go into the corner, we lean, and then we blink. And you see, we are like kind of horribly stuck in here. The title should be No Crossbow Challenge. So we're going to take their flammable bottles and place them next to recuperation. And now we're going to get some more raw whalebone by going into the East Terrace. And it is right here. And there's another one over there. Hello? Anybody? Right here. Now you can blink up because there is a outside a shrine over there. But we want to skip the cutscene, so we're going to get into combat with these two guards by bumping into them and then quickly running away and blinking away into this room. And there we go, no cutscene. Get some money on the way. When you get out, be, be careful of these two guards, so you're going to blink up. There's actually another room over here, so we're going to get that right here. Some money as well. We're going to call the elevator, and then we're going to break it because there's a room in the basement. There we go. Boom. Uh, but now we're gonna get a black bone charm first by getting up here and blinking up here. It's in the bird's nest. Void armor, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna use it though. But now we're gonna do something that will get you an achievement if you haven't got it yet, which is to drop down onto that guard from this height. So be very careful when you do it. Make sure not to die. But we're gonna go down there because there is a once that watchtower is down, Megan can pick me up. And there we go. Boom. What? What is this? Where you go? Wait. I got a little bit of combat for you, and there is our bellbird. And now I'm going to end the episode here and we'll pick up in the next part. Thanks for watching.